To discuss the Celtics' decision to cut Lonnie Walker IV, we have to look at this from a business perspective. Boston's already set to pay a massive luxury tax bill, and having Walker on merely a $2 million minimum salary would have cost the team around $10 million if President Brad Stevens didn't trim the team's overall salary before the end of the season. The Celtics owners in the Grausbeck family, manned by Wick, put together a roster that'll cost $500 million a season from now in 2025-26. Wick Grausbeck announced their decision to put the team up for sale just two weeks after winning the championship, because last season, the Celtics barely broke even. What's weird about this announcement is that, despite it, Boston still elected to extend Derek White on a four-year $125 million deal, extend Drew Holiday on a four-year $135 million deal, and extend Jason Tatum on an all-time high five-year $315 million deal, all around the time of the announcement of the sale. Therefore, my question is, what's another $10 million for Lonnie Walker? The Celtics were already set to lose $80 million because of the luxury tax fines for being over the salary cap in 24-25, so is losing $10 more million for a player that's clearly going to make you a better team that much more of a cost? Apparently it was, as they prepare for a sale of the team. Wick, but specifically his father Irving, just didn't want to lose any more money, as the team opted to enter the season with 14 players instead of 15, and decided to, on a whim, finally start prioritizing flexibility and money management. However, from a basketball standpoint, losing Walker is a mistake that could be costly. Remember, I'm saying could, not will. As broken down in this video right here, one of the games Walker had for Boston saw him finish as a Celtics second best plus 27, make impact plays on both ends of the court, plus drop 9 points and a game's second most 7 assists. Then, in the only game of the preseason where Lonnie was given significant playing time from start to finish, he scored 20 points on 8 for 15 shooting from the field and 4 for 9 shooting from distance in 30 minutes. Against primary weapons for the Raptors, Walker took advantage of the opportunity there for him in a big spot in an attempt to earn a position on the 15-man roster. Alas, Derek White spoke on the Celtics letting go of Walker, a man who he built up a relationship playing with in San Antonio, saying, You can tell that he's got a lot of passion. That's my guy, obviously. When asked if he has any advice for Lonnie, White joked, I talk to him too much, I think. You just hope White can sweep such a close friend of his getting cut under the rug, but Lonnie's relationship with Derek was a primary reason for why I thought they should have kept Walker IV. With that said, Jordan Walsh is the reason why this video's title says could be costly and not will be costly. Walsh showed clear signs of development and an ability to take the reins as the backup wing position Lonnie was going to fill. The second year pro who spent last season in Maine displayed progression in his ability to handle the basketball, both finish around the basket and hit shots from the perimeter in traffic, as well as generally manufacture offense. However, Lonnie's had playoff moments where he's proven to have been able to win teams' games under pressure. He's got 322 games under his belts and was hungry for this opportunity with the reigning champions. To be fair, it's not like the Celtics lost a major piece from their title run last season, but teams are going to be gunning for them, and having Walker would have added to their already incredible depth. You also have to consider that other teams could now look to sign Walker, and you'd hope if you're a Celtic fan that cutting him doesn't come back to haunt you in that aspect. Regardless, the Celtics are still reigning world champions, and their ring ceremony on Tuesday night will be special, as they'll be raising banner number 18 in front of the Boston Fateful. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.